So before we move forward in our course, we need to install the dev tool for with Testack Query or React Query. And this is a special dev tool that is built for them. So it will help us through our application when we are building to monitor our all queries. Okay, and it's really handy. So first thing we need to do is install our package and make sure you're always in the latest. So by the time of this recording, it is version five. So I am in version five documentation. So I'll just go and copy the installation script. So I'll run it in my terminal and let it finish. So it's quick, it's finished. Now what I have to do, I have to import this dev tool. So this is the command for me to do it. So I'll just copy it. And just make sure whenever you start, look at back the documentations because the videos can be outdated sometimes. And here they keep some important notes. Um, for example, now when I install this, it's installed as a production dependency. It's not a dev dependency. But they're saying if you're using Next.js, the newest versions, you need to install it as a dev dependency. Otherwise, it will not work for you. Now I will go to the root of my application. And first, I need to import the package I installed, of course. Okay. Then second thing is that I need to call it within my app. And it needs to be within the query client provider. Okay. Not outside, but inside. So I'll go after my actual app. I will say React Query Dev Tools. Okay. Let's save this. Let's go back to our application. And first you can see it's empty blank. I got a dead page and it is complaining. And I know what is the reason. Because your data first time, of course, your API is not fetched yet. So um, you have empty or undefined or null value for your data. So I need to add a question mark here. It means when there is a value, then map through it. I will save and that fixed the issue for us. Now the new thing you will see is some little icon here on the right. And if I click it, it will open the dev tool for us. Okay. So it may feel overwhelmed, but don't worry. We'll start learning time by time. Now what I will do, I'll refresh. Okay. When I refresh, you will just notice the color here. Okay. It was blue, then it become yellow. Okay. The blue means fetching. So of course, when we first time render our app, our query will be trying to fetch our API. And now it is yellow because it is stale, okay? It's nothing happening, it's done, it's just steady for us there.